All right, let me set the scene for you real quick. Maybe you're going for a nice lunch with your family. Yum. Some seafood, mm. a beautiful view. Yes. Or maybe you want to go out with your friends, dance, Ooh. have delicious and unique drinks. Uh, sounds good. Either way, sign me up. That's right. Well, what if I said you could do both all at one place? Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Exactly. You can do all of that at Fagers Island in Ocean City. Oh my gosh, I just love Fagers. Yes. They are open till two in the morning. So really, it's whatever you want to do. Dance the night away, listen to live music, have some fine dining. I could tell you about it all day. Instead, our field correspondent, Maya Henry, is going to tell you some more. Ocean City, known for beautiful beaches and terrific tourist attractions, is also home to some of the best restaurants. One of those restaurants notorious for gracing your taste buds and having a good time is Fager's Island. You can come here and have dinner with your family early on and then you could come back later on a bachelorette party and have fun with all your friends on the deck and dance until 2 a.m. Um, I think you could also come here 10 times in a row and find something new. That's Jack Fager, the head of the bar back. His father, John, opened Fager's in 1975 and wasted no time putting Jack to work probably around four years old, pulling out palm trees with my dad on the tractor. So I always loved being with him. I always wanted to do what dad did. Fast forward to today, Fager's Island now consists of two floors with multiple kitchens and a fine dining experience. As you enter the dining room, your eyes will be met with a breathtaking view. You get like one of those perfect sunsets that are timed so well and you just kind of take it all in and you relax a little bit and you're like, this is the best office view I've ever had. And for those who love to indulge in a flavorful experience, just look at this thing, a perfect prime rib with plenty of options to wash it all down. One of the really cool things about Fagers is our diversity of products. We have 500 different bottles of wine. We have probably 400 different spirits, over 50 beers. It's, and the cocktail list it's, that you can make with all that is endless. Travis Gilbert is the beverage manager. He began his career with Fagers Island at 14 years old. Travis's favorite part of bartending is the interactions with his customers. You know, your job is to make the customer happy and you can strike up conversations. I mean, we have people that come to Ocean City, Maryland from all over the world. And so just like meeting new people and finding out about them, it's, it's really, that's probably one of the coolest things about bartending. As the weather changes, so do your taste buds. The solution? Drinks designed for each season. And for those who want to step it up a notch, Fagers has a Bourbon of the Month program. We highlight a specific bourbon from our list and we offer that bourbon at a special price. And we just started this punch card where you come in, you can get the punch card, you can have the bourbon of the month that day and we will punch your card and you can come in every month get your card stamped when you have one of those bourbons. And then at the end of the year, we will do a drawing for everyone who has completed that card to win a free bottle of Pappy Van Winkle 12. As the day ends, the fun is just beginning as Fagers Island's nightlife is the ultimate crowd pleaser. From 5 to 10 p.m., bands like The Eight Tracks, The Great Train Robbery, and Transfusion are just some of the acts that will take the stage. But this stage is next level. We actually put in a hydraulic stage early this summer on the deck since that grew so much. So they'll lift out of the ground and then come up and start playing on their first song, the fog machine smoke and everything. So we'll fill that whole deck up and uh, it's really like another deck party. After dancing the night away, stroll over to Fagers Island's hotels filled with unique designs and comfort for all. Lighthouse Hotel um, was originally a restaurant called the Wild Goose Chase and then my father got that in 1988 I believe we opened up the Lighthouse Hotel and remodeled it. So from there um, it has 24 rooms in it and then he started the edge after that. There's a little piece of marsh in between them so we connected both of those and built the edge hotel and so every room in the edge is unique and different. A property that's packed into fine dining, premium pours, stunning sunsets, vibrant nightlife, and endless adventures. Fagers Island has it all. What a sweet story, especially talking about how long he's been there and, and starting out at four years old. Pulling palm trees with dad. Oh, I love stories like that. When that <laughs> really, too. truly is like a family 
business. Yes, which we do love to celebrate yes. on Coast Life. We also love celebrating some delicious food. Yes, we do. <laughs> we know you saw that picture of the prime rib. We're excited for it. But don't forget, uh, now through March, if you stay on a weeknight, guess what? It's only 150 bucks for a room. You could do that and eat that prime rib we just saw. I want to see more of the food, though. So yes. <laughs> we are. We do have more Fagers Island to get to. When we come back, we're going to dive deep into all the other amazing food they have and meet the executive chef. That's right. Stick around. This segment of Coast Life was brought to you by Ocean City Tourism. Just a few minutes ago, we were talking about how amazing the food at Fagers Island is. Yes. And I do want to reiterate, their drinks are really, really good as well. But we're going to introduce you to kind of the magic, per se, yes. behind the food. We are going to introduce you now, or not we, Maya Henry, is going to introduce us to the executive chef at Fagers Island. This mouth-watering prime rib is slowly cooked to perfection. Fagers Island's executive chef, Jim Hughes, follows a few easy steps to create this culinary masterpiece. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our white wine. we got white wine. And then when you're, uh, when you're cooking with wine, you want to make sure that you drink wine. If, you can't, if you're not able to drink the wine, don't, don't use it, okay? So it's got to be table, table ready, okay? Hungry visitors roaming through Ocean City can find an array of fine dining choices at Fagers Island. They may even find a food favorite. And, uh, we have a daily, we have uh, between uh, three or four appetizers and five or six uh, entrees. And they're all upper level. And uh, we also have Wagyu. We're one of the few uh, restaurants in the area that serve not the byproducts of Wagyu. We actually use the primal cuts so and we'll do a strip or we'll do a, 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 a ribeye. Having years of chef experience, Jim's cooking journey developed through childhood at his family's restaurants. His passion for cooking sparked at 23 as he ran the kitchen as an executive chef for a four-star hotel. Uh, I, I developed my passion there. Uh, I had a lot of uh, ladies that that, uh, that were cooking for years and years, and I was a young guy, and, and uh, they didn't know how to take me, this 20-year-old kid you know, uh, running a, uh, a, a four-star hotel. So uh, I either had to learn it real quick or get out, and I really got into it and, and, and just enjoyed doing it. Not only did he enjoy it, he excelled at it. So much so, the gym spent time as a chef in Saudi Arabia cooking for a king. Uh, I was the I was the chef for, for the uh, for King King Fahad in Riyadh, uh, the the King Khalid Military Academy. I, I, I opened that and, and, and ran that for five years for the royal family. From that family to yours, Jim created a special menu that you and your loved ones are sure to enjoy. His rockfish dish is divine. Fresh rockfish, set that on top like that. Oops, like that. Again, keep it in the center of the dish. And then we finish it with our wonderful tarragon, sun-dried tomato, or blanc. And then we serve this every night here at Fagers Island. Uh, we use the same sauce and we call it the fish of the day. But that's, that's it right there. And fantastic, and wipe it off and we're all good. To create dishes like this, Jim says planning is powerful take the heat out of the kitchen and you know you can do a lot of pre-advanced prepping like the French is a lot of prep and then very little cooking time. So do some prep of your own and make plans. Now is your memorable night at Fagers Island in Ocean City. That all looks so good, Leah. Amazing. Are you hungry now? You didn't know how much we love food on the show. It's incredible. <laughs> I always get a little, not upset with Maya, but upset with the fact. Just a little jealous. That, that she's there. She always gets to go eat all the amazing, delicious food out there. Because there's a rib. lot of ground to cover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let us know if you have the prime rib at Fagers Island. It just looks amazing. It does. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you've got a dream of being on the stage, telling those jokes, making people <laughs> laugh, we know just the venue for you. Coming up next on Coast Life, we're going to be taking a trip to Dream Big Venues in Del Mar. This segment of Coast Life was brought to you by Ocean City Tourism.